So welcome back to round three of the Sunburst Granny Square. So round three, this purple round here, is formed from a cluster stitch. So as always, take your next colour and attach your yarn in whichever way is best for you. So again, we're going to go into the gaps between the stitches rather than the top of the stitches underneath the Vs. So into the gap in between the stitches, attach your yarn. We're then going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So for the cluster stitch, we are going to chain two, one, two. We're then going to yarn over and insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through two. You'll have two loops on your hook. We're then going to yarn over again and insert back into that same space. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on your hook. And I'm going to yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And you will end up with four loops on your hook. For this first cluster stitch, that is how many loops you will have on your hook in the end. For the rest of the cluster stitches, for the rest of the way around this round, you will end up with five loops on your hook. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're now going to finish this stitch by yarning over and pulling through all four loops on the hook. We're then going to chain one to secure the stitch. We're then going to chain one to get to the next round. And we're going to yarn over and insert into the next space. Yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Four loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So if you can see, I've yarned over and inserted and then pulled back through four times. So I've got four what look like unfinished treble crochets, four of them in one stitch, but I've got five loops on the hook. Whereas in the first one, I still had four unfinished trebles, but I only had four loops on the hook because of where we started. So yarn over, pull through all five, chain one to secure, and then chain one for moving across. So that's what we're going to do in each one. In essence, we're going to do four unfinished treble crochets. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, that's three. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, that's four. Five loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops, chain one to secure and one to move across. So you want to continue in this way into each of the gaps between the stitches all the way around. And as with the previous round, you should end up with 16 cluster stitches. So if you want to pause the video here, make your way around and I'll meet you back at the end for joining. So I've made my way all the way around and all that's left to do is join this round. So where we need to join on this round is the first V of that chain two 
that we did between these two stitches. So the one that we used to lock the stitch in, that's where we need to work. So it's just here, right at the top of the stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Chain one. Snip, pull through, and then pull tight to secure. So that's round three of the sunburst. Hope you enjoyed. Join me next time for round four where we will make this sunburst into a square. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell notification button so that you will be notified when the next tutorial has been uploaded. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.